Two. Two. We got Rain, which is going to be the distant demon. Not oh, yeah. really as scary up close in person, but once you give her some space, depending on the form, she becomes an absolute force. So let's see how it all unfolds. Yeah, she has so much speed. She's just able to get in. The, already going to be getting a couple of hits. It gets that up strike. Mm -hmm. Tries to come back in with that down and dashing in, dashing out, dash dancing just a little tiny bit. Mm -hmm. um, you can really oppress your opponent with those disjoints. Oh, but Lane's whip can just keep you back. Yeah, no doubt about that, man. I really like that uh, that immediate down. In this case, you go for the high recovery back up off the ledge. Of course, the immediate spike is always on the ready. You know, the, the ledge trapping from Zerong is absolutely terrifying. But this part of the match is very terrifying Ooh. as well. Sometimes this feels like... I have to do as little as possible and I get the most bang for my buck when it comes to just playing the floor as lava with oh Reyna. gosh, and just jumping out there. Almost going to be able oh to get that. My. And whooping on in. Gets that stock off the top. That was such an amazing chase down. That was an absolute amazing chase. I got to really give it to Starman X, sending him clear up to the stars at that. Nothing off of the... Okay, yeah, looking for a lot off the up tilt. But again, the up close and personal game is a game that in this current form of Reyna, she does not want to play. And as you can see right now, certainly living up to that statement, playing it the distance game and I like this a lot letting Keiko get back up off the ledge but that side oh, yeah. special overextension Starman X making him pay yeah oh not able to follow up with the down but still going to be able to get that side strike coverage okay just Ooh. looking for a way to land but these juggles I've got to say from Lena have been looking fantastic yeah you know again you got to get the most out of your money and I think you know the Starman X is certainly playing into that completely understands yes I have the distance game I mean yes you know, Zeron can play a long game as well, too, versus most characters in the cast. Let's keep it a stack. Woo! I'm not most characters, but wait a minute. Keiko said, let me chop you back down to size real quick. Let's keep this one even. Yeah, but now how do you actually make it back over the stage? Okay, able to get that down strike, and that's that big combo started. You can space out opponents. You can poke them out safely. Jumping out, fading back in just in case mm -hmm. to cover the preemptive recovery option. I like the fact that Keiko Valak didn't commit too much, but only 9 HP. Is that going to be the stock? Yes, it will be. That's right. Unfortunately, we're playing a bit of catch-up right now. Strong opening here from the Starman X. And again, getting a little closer right now. Again, in this current form of Reyna, not quite the game she wants to play. Now, when the whip is out, she's a bit more floaty on her landing options back down. When she's in the uh, other form, she turns into a bit of a fast faller. Of course, Keiko wants everything to do with the fast falling form. Starman X not giving it to him. There's the down tilt. No party starter for you. Oh, yeah. Just going to be slowing down the pace of the game just a little tiny bit. Both of them are going to be sitting in the yellow at this point. Jumping on in. They're able to get that extension, but not a massive combo hit. That is going to be able to take that stock off, though. This is looking dialy. This is looking difficult. This ain't, this ain't looking too good right now. The Starman X is just playing with a different level of energy right now. Love that down tilt. Nothing off the up tilt, and I love that from Reyna. Doesn't have to get her hands dirty. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was right. nasty. Oh. That, one, that, that was disgusting. One. That was so cool. I know we got the replays on deck, courtesy of House of 3K. Big shout out to Devin on the ones and twos. Yes, there it is. And, and they didn't stop through. They didn't stop. They were able to get that area of the spacing, the timing. It, it was phenomenal. Rain is kind of cracked. I was talking to Levi about this. I was like, hey, yo. Levi put up to the crib, and we were talking a bit about Rain. I was like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So I've got to say, I, I love how just aggressive the Starman X was like throughout that entire set. Like when he really needed to find those juggles, he was able to hold it down. He was able to like he finished chewing his food. He didn't stop it halfway. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, it's just it's kind of just the age old fighting game, you know, narrative. It's like, hey, I'm a lot longer than you. I do the most damage, keeping the match as grounded as possible and keeping a character like you out. Keiko, of course, trying to break that zone, really struggling here to figure out how. 22 HP left, 13 is starting to kind of chisel away here. Starman X has kind of built up this wall. And using those projectiles as the Ooh, opening, that oh, unreactable oh, oh, mid-range oh. option. And that is going to be the stock off the top. This is going to be another stock lead for Starman X, just so proficient with yeah. Atlanta. Unfortunately enough, Keiko just has to kind of ice skate uphill here. Okay, floor is lava. That's right. Floatier options back down, of course. Also has to burst too to really mix things up. Starman X, Reyna, of course, never without options on getting those feedback on the solid ground with or without the platforms in play. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right now, just trying to space out some of these downstrokes, but then getting right into Keiko Valak's area of effect. Mm -hmm. I feel like Lena, you know, by like courtesy of that whip, she likes to be way further back. Keiko Valak needs to be a little bit closer. Typically, it's Zhugong is the one that's like spacing you out, but mm -hmm. not in this matchup. Yeah, of course, just getting a little taste for own medicine, and it looks like a double dose, if you will, right here. It just kind of feels like when it comes to spacing, Raina can do everything she can, but a little bit better. But the flip side is that what happens when I break that zone, I get up close in person, then stuff like this starts to happen off of their feet. Nothing off the neutral special. Okay, no more blade beams in play as well, too. Oh, Mega Unforged indeed. And Starman X reaching for the stars right here, if you will. Looking yep. damn good. Yeah, a little bit too low to be able to snap onto the ledge. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, fantastic stuff. Look at these follow-ups. It does not stop. And, okay, really good use of the boogie stick just to be able to get out of there, to be able to stop that disadvantage and cut it short. Yeah, gotta cut that one in half. No, fourth is gonna be out of play on this stock here. Sometimes you just gotta expend those options to get back onto solid ground. Better late than never. Never late is also better, though. Finds an opening right there with back air. Gets that stock taken, but easy come, easy go is how that saying goes, my friend. Yeah. Starman X still looking poised to close this one out, but let's see if Keiko can dig deep. I ain't trying to count him out just yet. He only, you know, he only helped develop the oh, game. Oh no, but then Keiko uh, ends up running off stage, ends up SDing. So unfortunate stuff. Uh, Starman X just now up two games to oh, and he's not slowing down anytime soon. Did I commentary curse him? Do you think I didn't? I didn't do that. That, that wasn't me. I don't want to blame that oh. one on me, Dar. I'm not blaming it what on happened? me. What I happened? Know. How did you dip off stage? That's right. Let's go and take a gander here at the replays. A little off the mark right there with the down air, and unfortunately enough, it just felt like the star match was like, I got this one. You ain't coming back from this. No burst either. You can't even mix it up if you wanted to on the way back up. Oh, yeah. Potential final game right here from Keiko. Running it back here. Again, no platform, so the landing options become a little bit more hectic, but again, while Reyna has the, the chain, Yo, that's I, you know, she's chase. a little floater. Yeah, Absurd. yeah. Being able to catch that goal in. Beautiful stuff there. Okay, now there's both of them going to be slowing down a little bit. You just seeing how difficult it is for Keiko Valor to actually initiate. It just seems like Spider-Man X is like knowledge of his own boost range, his boost options, just consistently getting into and the first one to get those big hits. That's right. And I mean, again, you know, when those rare moments where Keiko decides to get in and find those openings, again, it's the down, so it's the nair that really gets it done when you want to keep it grounded. You know, no platforms to mix up the approach options. Let's be honest, Zeron's approach options, as nice as they are when they hit, are pretty telegraphed. I know exactly when they're oh, yeah. coming. It's just a matter of when. And Starmax not letting Keiko have any fun here in this match. 74 HP, four lives still on deck. Yeah, no, not at all. Just has to. How do you find this opening? Finally able to get in between the hits of the whip, but it's actually not going to convert into anything huge. You need to set up a juggle as Jurong. You need to find a way to be able to get the stock off. You get him off stage. What do you do from here on out? Okay. A little bit of a blade beam option right there. Couldn't Ooh. quite get the party started, but I like that understanding. Now, anytime I get those heavy knockdowns, I got to go for the tech chase option. Regardless if I'm right or wrong, I have to force the advantage and let him know I'm not afraid to run up on you. Okay, immediate burst. Yeah, just always landing with that side. We always landing with that up. You guide into whatever this joint Starman X is actually spacing out. Okay. Okay, breaking that zone. Yes, we have switched stances right here. It's time to, it's time to get funky now. Oh, yeah. Okay, now this is the game that Keiko should be a little bit more comfortable playing here against the <laughs> Kunai. Oh, and the KO off the top. Starman X ain't taking no prisoners here, but yeah. last hit on the stock. So many stocks have been taken off the top. Starman X is just so effective at being able to catch those jumps, being able to find those juggles. No just doubt. Just always pressuring and coming high, but still able to make it back onto the ledge. I mean, that is just the sign of a very poised and positioned competitor right there. I am down, but I am far from out. Oh, yeah. Okay, now Keiko starting to kind of claw his way back up into this. I kind of, I'm appreciating the switch more. Um, you know, I think this stance right here kind of works a little bit more in Keiko's favor. The ability to kind of box and strap Zero on some really strong normals. Just standing jab is enough to kind of demand that space up close. Okay. Backing off a little tiny bit. And I'm just going to be looking for a way to start with like a down strike or two. And then ends up side striking oh, in the wrong ugh, direction. Ugh, Keiko ugh, Valid whiffed. Starman X was able to find the whip punish. And that ends up being the stock. Yeah, unfortunately enough, this one is starting to kind of snowball out of control here for Keiko. Again, controlling that space. You want that short hop something in. That short hop near possibly that, you know, I read the option going for down tilt. Get the party started. But Starman X just has all the aerial around him wow. just covered. Okay. It's down to corner control. Not in your favor. Oh, he's I'm out of here. Yeah, Stylerman X was a little bit too busy jumping in already. Just totally outside of the range of that down strike. But able to get in there, able to set up that offstage situation and coming back on with that side special. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Okay, can't even jump for free here anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's caught in the corner here. Keiko's back against the wall quite literally and figuratively. Doesn't mind his position at all. Okay, down tilt again. Nothing off the up tilt, but that's okay. Still has him off his feet. And again, you got to make sure your timing is proper when it comes to getting this form of Reyna off her feet. Your little floater here doesn't seem to matter. 3 0. No handshake. All hugs right here, friends, at Defending North 2022. Keiko drops down. Starman X is going to move on. Yeah, Starman X just played beautifully. Mm. I feel like that entire time it was just a tale of two advantage states. The amount of damage output that you're able to deal the juggles, especially also in neutral. A lot of uh, like Jurong's advantages is like, hey, you know, that's that's a that's a solid. You can outspace people with disjoints, but not at the hands of the whip. Mm. Uh, and I just feel like Starman X did such a good job, just really abusing his own range. Did a really good job of just like abusing all of that space that Lena gives you, mm. um, and just sort of like you know, doing a little bit of what Jurong wanted to do, but better. Yeah, you know, when you, again, you just, 
have the ability to kind of outspace, it just makes the task hand that much more difficult. And of course, having the added projectile as well all the time in the match is a really tough thing, I think, for somebody like a, a Zero to work around. Of course, has the blade beam, only gets four of them per stock. So, I mean, this one kind of came down to the kind of the manageability of your tools. Um, you know, I was talking to Levi earlier about this. I think, you know, when you play a character like Zeron, playing the floor as Lava is so much in your favor. And even if it's not, you have to try to force yep. that advantage, even if, you know, you got to force advantage to make it feel like it is in your favor. But again, sometimes when you're trying to land and she has to whip out, the, the weights change a little bit. And so, you know, you got to make sure your combos are airtight. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately enough, the cake was going to drop down just a little bit. That's all right, though. You know, we still going to see a little still bit of losers. losers. That's right. Still got the losers bracket right. I believe in the kid, but Star Manix is going to move on to that next portion. Yep. And honestly, played so well with a brand new character as well, too. So, friends, first time watching Rush Down, you're like, I don't know how Reyna works. We'll look no further. Star Manix got you covered. You saw those projectile extensions? Those were cool. I want to do that. <laughs> it looks like it feels probably amazing to hit as well because you're like, damn, I'm kind of nasty. I spaced that. I timed that. Ugh. That's good. right. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, I play I play a projectile character as well, too. I play a little bit of Raymer. So, you know, I like to press the beat button. I like to shoot some things. But all jokes aside, though, when you see a nice Raymer, you just got to tip your hat to it. Character has been out not for too long and already making it to the top four here defending North 2022. This just ain't no any old run-of-the-mill tournament, okay? This tournament, of course, is for a lot of bragging rights. A lot of games are being played as well, too, friends. Like I said before, we got Tekken 7. We got Street Fighter 5 as well happening just a little bit later. Guilty Gear. And if you know anything about the fighting game community, you know that this is probably going to be the last year Tekken 7 and Street Fighter 5 all ran here. So everybody's trying to make that claim as the final victory. The final victor, excuse me, here at this tournament. It's a lot of bragging rights on the line. Big stuff on it. Who asked me? Yeah, there's the big changes coming. We've got Street Fighter 6 coming out soon. But enough of that. We do have another set coming up on ahead of us. We have the one that put us in here in the first place, uh, mm -hmm. Evil, That's the right. one and only, the GOAT, mm -hmm. uh, going up against Green Falcon. That's right. That's right. Um, you know, Levi's just an absolute encyclopedia of this game for obvious reasons because, again, he's also helping working on the game as well, too. So, yep. um, you know, seeing the pop off, that's right. Go ahead and wave to the camera. Yeah. Let him know. That's right. The loved ones are at home watching you do damage in front of the screen and, of course, behind the scenes as well. So, very curious to see how this one's all going to unfold. Yes, friends, the developers of this game are good at it as well, too. It ain't like some of the other fighting games. I will remain unspoken. Let's see how this one goes. We got yeah. a button check here on the ready. So it seems like Evil is going to be going with the Seth uh, mm -hmm. and the Green Falcon with the Ashani pick. Yes, Lord. Yeah, so a couple more character swaps here. Um, you know, really love all the character diversity that we've seen. It's a bit of a small bracket, but I'm glad we don't have like too many repeats. I'm um, just going to be like a nice little exhibition for like all those that are uninitiated. We're on the house channel. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a lot of Smash foodies like watching. Uh, mm -hmm. This is just like a nice little taste of like what this game can offer. Absolutely. I think that's the beautiful thing about a game like Restaurant is that every character can contend at top professional levels level but also to every no two characters feel the same you know what i mean you might be able to like draw some similarities like 